What is up fam? Hope you're having a great and beautiful day today. Welcome to my life movie. We are getting ready to go on this river here. We're not going to go on kayaks though, unfortunately. I'm meeting my dad here. My dad is on a kayak somewhere on this river. We have no kayaks, so we're just going to go for a little bit of a swim. I'm going to show you some Florida beauty. I mean, this is one of Florida's best kept secrets. A lot of people don't know things like this exist. So I'm going to show you. It's beautiful. Let's go down this little trail right here first, though. Other day I was walking through this trail, but it was nighttime. And we could see a bunch of fireflies. Well, we might see some people out here because it is the weekend. Oh, I hear somebody behind us. Look who's over there. That's my little brother. I guess they're done kayaking. Hi, Matthew. <laughs> what the heck? I guess you guys are done? Hey, look, my dad's dog. That's Paco right there. What's up, Paco? Did Paco have a good time? He loves to swim with him. He loves swimming, huh? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Just want to show you how nice of a guy my dad is. Look what he did here. See this right here? That garbage? That's... What else? Yeah, people throw that in this beautiful paradise. And it's such a shame. Did you have fun? Yeah, we, we swam and we, we started getting cold. Oh, yeah? So check this out right here. Look how beautiful that is. That is a Florida natural spring-fed river. And it is crystal clear, like bluish green. And just a little bit, we're going to go for a swim. Go hang out over there. <laughs> My dad's dog's freaking out. I'm here, buddy. Hi, Paco. Look, I'm here. I'm going to walk you. Come on, let's go. Parked behind my dad, so kind of have to go let him out. He's kind of stuck. Yeah, no sense in being selfish. We'll go in a little bit. It's going to be a good time. Also brought my, my drone so we could do some aerial shots. And I can show you how beautiful this paradise is, man. If you're ever in Florida, look up there, Natural Springs. There's so many of them. It's more, uh, starts like in the central part of Florida and goes up towards Georgia. Definitely want to check it out. It's absolutely beautiful. There's this one called the Devil's Den. Have you heard of the Devil's Den? Yes. Yeah, it's like an underground like that, but it's underground in a cave. So pretty. I'm going to go over there and maybe make a cool video. Hopefully soon. There's the boys over there. Dude, there's nobody out here. That's because it's so much later, though. That's why. At the entrance of this park, there's a place called Paddling Adventures and you could rent kayaks there it's really cool but the only bad thing is is you have to be back at the end of the springs here by th i think it's 3 p.m some of them are maybe 4 p.m or so now we happen to come here around it's like 4 p.m so there's nobody out here i preach this a lot either come really really early most people come really early anyways but you have a better chance of enjoying something or having it to yourself if you come later and plus i'm a later kind of guy brought my gopro i could get this wet but i'm not sure if i could submerge it my gopro i could submerge so i'll show you down in the water it'll be cool whoa there was a fish jumped out of the water over there maybe we could see some fish let's go let's do this sound quality might not be the greatest on this but you know it's a gopro it's all good oh oh that's cold. Woo! Let's see how clear this water is, though. Oh, wow. Takes a little getting used to, not gonna lie. Now, the cool thing is, is when it gets really cold here, which, uh, really cold here in Florida, you know, to us, maybe 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Might wanna see what that is, Celsius, but that's pretty cold. But when it gets that cold here, this temperature of this spring stays exactly the same. And that's why there's a lot of animals like the manatees that will come and make this place home. I mean, it's already home to them already, but it's a lot more home to them during that time because the ocean is so much colder. Here, catch. Huh? <laughs> I don't know if I could throw like, the ball's kind of slippery. I want to say this temperature of this water is 72 degrees Fahrenheit it doesn't sound cold but it's cold it's almost 90 degrees here in Florida 
So, you know, here you go. Cold, right? Yeah. If you're going to come to one of these springs too, I recommend trying to get a day off during the week. That way you're not running into people on kayaks and stuff and you kind of have the place to yourself. These are the worst goggles ever. So foggy. Let's go ahead and uh, go for a foggy swim. What do you say? <laughs> Three, two, one. Not for long. Kind of hard to swim back up this way because you know, the current's going towards the ocean right here. A little easier to go in a kayak. This goes to, I don't know if you watched my videos way back. Oh, there's a fish, a couple fishes. But this goes to the state park called Wikiwachi Springs. They have that mermaid show. I did a video there, a couple of videos there actually. Neat place. Oh yeah, this current is strong. Wicked strong. It's like it's like pool water. And you do get used to it right away. I mean, just like that initial like jump in the pool. It's like jumping in kind of like a lukewarm, you know, a little bit less than lukewarm. You get in, you get that initial shock, but then you get used to it after. But then if you get out and get back in, a little too cold. Then you're done. And you're like, babe, get my towel. Go underwater again. What do you say? <laughs> Look at Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba is happy as ever. He's a happy little pig. We got him 100% potty trained. Comes outside with the dogs. Goes pee and poopy. And he even goes in a litter box. Are you going to taste the chicken? Oh, snap. Look. Sasquatch and the other rooster are fighting. You've got to see this. So Sasquatch and Red are duking it out through the fence. Okay, I guess they're not anymore. Luna just ruined that. Luna gets excited. Like she does, she just wants to play with the chickens. She thinks they're like toys. Oh damn, there's one in the tree, bro. Oh yeah. They get they get up there. Hi, babies. Give me a kiss. Whoa. Well, tonight, Jay and I are going to go do some drive through pranks. Had a lot of great feedback. Uh, I'm not sure if I got the greatest views ever, but that's okay. My drive through pranks are really meant for my other channel because that's where they originally started. I've never done a clown, scary clown drive through prank, though. This was Jay's idea. But we kind of had like some good ideas bouncing off each other. That's that's the cool thing about when you get two creative minds together. So we're going to do some cool prank videos. We're going to do one on his channel, one on my channel. And I can't wait to show that to you. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my other channel, go check it out. Also, go subscribe to I'm Jay Station. We'll probably be uploading in the next couple days or so. I'm excited about that because I have not uploaded a drive through prank on that channel. And probably... I want to say it's been like almost two years. It's been a long time. And I've never done one. You've never done a drive-thru prank? No. Dude, they're so good. 
they're so awesome that was probably one of my first videos to reach a million views so anyways we got those really cool clown masks i showed it in my video yesterday but we don't have any clown suits however i did prank my friend boomer not long ago and i had a clown suit and i think it's in here and it matches jay's mask that he's going to be wearing and it's really messy this is my my shed hey by the way had a lot of fun with you guys on the river that was that was pretty cool oh it's right there oh nice but um yeah i'm pretty wore out after the sun beats down on you for a while Me too. It, it, yeah kind of there's it there's the the suit oh, right that's there. perfect yeah that's awesome Omar. i'll show it to you in the light so there is the suit right there yeah that's it's from just a shirt though oh i got i got the pants somewhere all right let's gotta gotta find them so we've been looking in my shed and no such luck for the pants we only found like the you know the shirt or whatever i did find this though however and it's almost the same exact mask that we got so like we could have saved money but i ain't gonna lie the one that we got it's better is better than this one for sure like this one's cool and it's the uh, american horror story guy Mm -hmm. the we got a way nicer mask this is a good mask though too for yeah sure. yeah it's still good and where's the other clown oh there's another clown mask here too see that that's kind of creepy looking so we can probably uh we can have a a third clown in the car could have gene hey anyways i'm going to show you a sneak peek of what we do later before it gets released on my other channel it's going to be cool and let me know if you want to see more like pranks like that i will be doing some more pranks on this channel too but this video that we're doing being that like you know we kind of create like scary type videos kind of falls into that so it's kind of like some scaring plus some some humor as well i tried to wake up jay he took a small tiny nap we were supposed to meet up at 10 p.m told him that i would make him some coffee he had an alarm on too and we had to kind of go in his room and just turn the alarm off because I, I think he was that tired, man. I have never met... I, I've only met a few people in the same category as far as grind material. I mean, as far as, like, hard-working YouTubers. When you see somebody doing really well on YouTube, putting out good content, putting out good entertaining content, and you see that they're pulling these crazy numbers... It's because they're working their tails off. And I mean, the same thing with my friend Mo. Like these guys are hard, hard workers, man. And I mean, he he worked himself pretty good. I mean, he's that freaking tired. But anyways, yeah, we were gonna do some uh, filming here in a little bit. I, maybe he'll wake up in a little bit. We're supposed to maybe film a cool Robert the Doll video. By the way, if you missed my video on Rise, I mentioned that we're going to be spending the night in the haunted Robert the Doll's house. The same house that Mo and I tried to spend the night in, but we got clickbaited and it was another house. Well, yeah. Is that the same girl? It is the same girl. Okay, sorry. Well, we're, we're here at the McDonald's. Uh, sorry to change the subject up, but we're at the same McDonald's that I came to yesterday and tried to use that foreign money. I'm kind of worried about doing this but i wanted to give this whole clown thing it's a different car it is a different car yeah, yeah i'm using my truck right now but do you have both masks no i just have one okay and maybe you could put your seat back yeah that's what or I something yeah so they're not going to recognize me but i wanted to give the whole clown scare prank a, a whirl do like a test run on it but you know the whole thing about about jay you know i just wanted to say you know he's, he's a hard worker I'll give the guy some some credit a lot of people bash him in the comments and you know i mean the, the guy you know he's creating good content you know good entertaining content but you know don't, don't hate on him he is a really really hard worker and if you look at his channel it goes to show why he is getting all those good numbers it's because of the work he puts in so we might do this prank another time but i kind of mentioned it a little earlier today so i wanted to give you a sneak peek of what we're going to be doing if this reaction is good i might include it into the actual video but you'll get to see it here first so yeah two drive-through pranks in a row and i mean you know my drive-through prank 
from yesterday did horrible. Really? Like, yeah, it didn't get like, I, I don't know. It's like people don't, they, I don't know. They're not into, in fact, people that watch you just my vlogs, yeah, well, I just uploaded it, but it's, the views are bad. It's like, I mean, I usually get double or triple the views by then, especially on the weekends. Yeah. So if you missed that video, go check it out, please, because it's not just a prank. It's a vlog, too, and it's funny. It's really funny. I tried scaring my kids with this clown mask. A uh, complete fail. So I'm a little worried or concerned that it's not going to work with the drive-thru workers. But I have a plan. And we're going to do this prank a bunch of different ways. A lot of you were kind of scaring me, too. You were like, man, a, a clown mask at night. And, uh, you know, people are going to, if there's somebody that's trigger happy, they might shoot at you. That's true, but I'm gonna stay in the car for this one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on, and then I'm gonna do this because this is a hoodie. That's really gonna scare the crap out of them. Yeah, I'm scared. And then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stare. But yeah, that's it, it's not gonna be like the same old like prank idea. Like you know, I'm gonna do that whole thing with the with the hoodie. We're even gonna do one where someone is outside, maybe like walking. You know what I mean? Like by the door down, like real low. Okay. And then they pop up. You know yeah, what I mean? Punched. That's going to be bad. I, I did a video like that. Go check out. You should see it. It's called the Sea Monster Prank. Uh, drive through Sea Monster Prank. It's I know it sounds lame, but it's really, really funny. Me and my friend Lou, uh, he's no longer doing YouTube videos, but he, he used to do pranks like in Miami. And we had this really crazy Sea Monster like outfit. And it, it was so, you, you have to see that video. Just look up Sea Monster. In fact, I'll leave a link right there. It's an ID card. Click on that if you want to see that video for a really good laugh. All right, we're going to see how this is going to go. Hopefully, hopefully it goes okay. And uh, I really hope it's not the same people. Hello, can I get a snack size McFlurry M&M? Can I get you anything else? Oh, it works. Um, that'd be all. Why'd you freak out? <laughs> she said someone had a clown mask. That's not true. <laughs> You're saying I look like a clown? Yeah. I'm terrified of clowns. Are you really? Yes. Meet my friend. His name is It. Here he is right here. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't mean to scare you. Really scare me. Do they? I'm, you know clowns used to scare me as a kid. Let's freaking see though. That's pretty much in a nutshell what we're gonna be doing, Jay and I. I'm not sure. I'll have to look and see how those reactions were. Um, I, you know, when it comes to scare pranks and people wanting to see scare pranks, you have to you have to film several reactions because some reactions aren't that great. Like I'm not sure if that last one was something that I can use. You think it was? She was kind of like, oh wow. Yeah. Hey there, you're looking beautiful today. Keep it cute. If you're wanting to conceal your poopy smell, get some of this. It's called VI Poo. It's a lot like, what's the name of that stuff? Poopery. It's a lot like the poopery. Except they sell it at Walmart for $5.97. You have one at your house, right? Yeah, I use it all the time. And my poop don't stink. I could I could literally say that. Thanks to this stuff. Hey, um, they didn't pay me to do that, by the way. Wish they did. The lavender one smells a little bit better than this one. It's really good too for an RV. I don't know if it would work in an RV. It's supposed to add a protective film in the water. I guess if you have water in your toilet in your RV. How's your McFlurry? I already finished it. Oh wow. Yeah, they didn't have McFlurries yesterday at McDonald's. Dude, I feel like we're reliving the same day like as yesterday. Yeah, feels like it. Gene is so proud of what he did yesterday. Let me see it on Twitter. You have the video. Oh. We gotta get a table. There it goes right there. So he can edit for me. <laughs> we gotta get a table. Gene is extremely proud of that. 
I mean, it, it worked out perfect. It was it was super cool. It was it was really cool. When these flat screen TVs first came out, I remember looking at them year 2001 or so. You know, I was like 20 years old. They looked really cool, but not everybody was able to afford them because they were like 15 grand. I'm not lying. You could look it up if you want. Fifteen thousand dollars, and now you can get one for freaking five hundred dollars. That's such a good deal. And 4K, and th those were the old school plasmas. Look at that one for four hundred ninety-eight dollars. That's sick. And they got this real fancy one over here, but yeah, fifteen thousand dollars. I love going in the toy aisle. Let's see what's some cool toys. I want to know in the comments, like. No matter what your age is, even if you're into toys now, what are your favorite toys and what were your favorite toys? Mine were G.I. Joe's, Transformers, Spy Tech, if you know what Spy Tech was, it was and uh, those cap guns. I loved the cap guns. Those were a lot of fun. And Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels was one of my favorites too. They don't, I mean, they. I guess they still, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? Pop and play, this is actually... This is really funny. I think I want to make a video about this. You can pop them? Bro, Gene, Yo. check this out, dude. You're going to laugh. What are you doing? He's on a skateboard. Well, we're a bunch of big kids, bro. Look at look at this. Are those fig zits? You could put figs and you could pop them. Oh, that would be funny, like, going up to the cash register and, like, be like, hey, can you get that for me? And I'll just pop it like one bonus tattoo included. I have to buy this. Peel, stick, and pop. I'm so glad I came through this aisle. This is so interesting. So you know what tomorrow's video is going to be about? I am going to do this. I'm going to pop some zits. We're going to pop some zits. It's going to be funny and I'm going to wear them. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have Melissa pop them for me too. Comes with 25 zit stickers. Why can't I have thought of this? This is genius. Look at June. For being a Walmart board, this is really nice. Is it? Yeah. We're gonna get us kicked out of here. Wanna try it? Yeah. I have horrible balance, by the way. Ooh. But I suck off skateboards. My opinion, I, I think toys are a little cooler now than they were when I was a kid. Oh, oh you break, you buy. They still got the you know, like the Hot Wheels die casts. I mean, these aren't Hot Wheels. These are Adventure, Adventure Force. They, they do have cap guns. Cool. Mine were like this, but they were metal. They, they kind of look legit real, honestly. Guys, I cannot believe what I just found here at Walmart. You are going to flip out. Everybody needs to come to Walmart right now and get them one of these. In fact, I'm going to get one for Melissa. Jake Paul posters. What the heck? Jake freaking Paul posters. How cool is that? That YouTube has made its way into Walmart. I, I don't think this is the first time. Oh, wow. oh, oh, yeah, oh wow. Dude, which one should I get? I mean, it's it's everyday bro that Jake Paul is in Walmart. I think I like the good morning one. I'm gonna get he he looks he looks pretty handsome there. Well, I'm a Jake Pauler. I'm a Jake I'm a Jake Pauler. Melissa's a Jake Pauler. She, she really? loves bro, she loves Jake Paul, dude. I was just kidding at that. Well, that's crazy. I'm gonna see what Melissa thinks about this poster I get. I'm gonna get her that one. The everyday bro one. What's up with day, bro? I'm gonna get that one for for Melissa. So Or maybe I should give it to Malia. I don't know, I haven't decided. We'll, we'll decide when we get home. Just wanted to show you my brand new truck. Well, it's not brand new, but it's it's brand new to me. It's 20, 2015 or 26. It's a couple years old, okay? Uh, got a great deal on it. It's a GMC Sierra. Always wanted one of these trucks. And I love it. Chicago, man, Chicago. Pretty pimp, huh? No, can't do that. All right, you, you could do it. You, um, you could feed them. Wait, I don't want to drop it. I'm being really selfish. Sorry, here. Those are just right, too. Yeah, they're it's like, not too sour. Are you sure you don't want one? Hmm. They don't have seeds either. That's the best part. Yeah, I'll, I'll take one. Okay, you're just fish. They're really tasty. Bro, that chick was really scared of clowns. I feel bad. Yeah, she really was. Yeah. You're going to feed them? 
Gene's trying to hand me an orange, I'm sorry. This is the bigger half, and you get it, because you are the better half of me. Would you like one Pennywise? There you go. Mm. We're gonna get home. Gotta give Melissa her present. She wanted some junk food, so I got her some potato chips, stuff like that. It's funny, like, when you're at the store and your girlfriend or your wife is, like, telling you what to get after, like, you're already in line getting ready to check out. She was like, get me some snacks. Like, dude, I'm already at the checkout line, so I just grabbed a couple couple potato chips, things like that. I think she has some uh, late-night hunger. All right, so I'll see you at home. You're going to love it. You look, gotta, you look gotta sexy. Who it is. Yeah, can you guess who it is? I'm not a favorite guy. You know? You mean I'm not your favorite guy? Well, yeah, you are, but you're not a poster. Well, how do you know that? I can make. I should make a poster of me. You were that excited about it. Now you can't look at it. Dude, open it. Guess Cheater. Who, guess who it is, though? Wouldn't that be like no Logan Paul brand? No. Nah. Like, he's got posters at Walmart. Logan Paul. Yeah. No, can't be on Walmart. He, that's he, totally not Logan Paul. I promise a million dollars, it's not Logan Paul. Okay. Is that his brother? Yeah, that's Jake Paul. <laughs> I told you it wasn't Logan Paul. Oh, God. Melissa loves these guys. Okay. Just kidding. What, what are you doing? You, you don't want to hang it up? No. I'm going to go ahead and start letting you guys go. I do appreciate you being a part of my day today. Thank you so much. Shout out to my boy Gene for helping me edit these cool videos. Because... Honestly, like without him helping me, I wouldn't be able to pump out videos consistently every single day and that's kind of dark, sorry. Yeah, the exposure compensation was way down. It must have happened in my pocket. But anyways, I love you so much. I hope to see you tomorrow. I gotta go before you leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.